Ladies and gentlemen, Cumberland Valley High School proudly presents Cinderella. who has slain the hideous dragons. Hail Prince Topha! All hail unto Prince Topha, who has captured the devious griffins. Hail Prince Topha! Praise unto Prince Topha, who has corralled the murderous unicorns. Hail Prince Topha! What do you wish? Yeah, yeah, what do you wish? I just, I just wish I was doing something more important with my life. Uh. Worrying about that self-worth again, Prince Topher? It all just comes too easily. The fact remains, sire, you will be king, and very soon. When your sainted mother and father passed away and left you in my charge, I made the promise that when you became of age, you would be prepared for your reign. I know, Sebastian, I know, and 
I guess I am ready to be a king. The thing of it is, I just don't even know who I am yet. I'm sure it'll come to you. Until then, might I suggest faking it? Really? You wouldn't be the first, and you wouldn't be the last. To the castle? To the castle. You know, still these questions, they just nag me. They just nag and nag and nag. No, 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 not you, Buttercup. I just wonder. Me, who am I? A far from perfect guy. A bum who wants to do what's right, but often does what's wrong. A kid whose voice is way off key, but loves to sing a song. A guy who dreams like a lion, but wakes up like a lamb. Me, who am I but the guy I am? That's who my His royal highness, Christopher Rupert, Slayer of Dragons, Hideous of Ogres, Each royal of Griffin the Giants, No friends to Marvels, Nice to the needy, Sportsman and poet, A guy who dreams like a lion, But wakes up like a lamb. Me, who am I? But the guy I am. Yeah. He's our hero. Oh, stop. Such perfection. That's very kind of you. He's the kind of guy who we'd all like to be. I appreciate that. What's the use of self-reflection? Church bells will ring when you are king. A guy who dreams like a lion, but wakes up like a lamb. Me, who am I but the guy I am? That's who am I. No, 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 And fetch her some water. Yes, sir. Don't talk to her that way. How do you know she's poor? Look at her. She's filthy. Here you are, sir. Thank you, young lady. That's very kind of you. It's just water. Give her some money. Really? Yes, it's charity. You have things and she doesn't. So you're going to give her some of your things so that she doesn't have a revolution and take all of your things. Spare change, any spare change. The moment charity is mentioned, out comes every layabout. Here you are, old woman. Thank you. Bless you, kind sir. Be careful, my lord. Many of the very poor have weapons. Be gone with you. No, good sirs, this is merely crazy Marie. She lives in the woods and only comes to town to collect what others throw away. She is gentle in every way, sweet and delicate, but not. She is harmless, I can tell. Sebastian, Lord Pinkleton, sheath your swords. You are a good friend to Marie. How lucky she is to have a true friend such as you. I wish I had a true friend. I'm standing right here. Shall we journey on? Very well, Pinkleton. Be well, young lady. I don't want charity. No, no, no. Take the coin then, as a present, in admiration for a true friend in this world. Buttercup! Oh, here, sorry. Lots on my mind. Thank you for saving me life, Diorella. I shall return the favour. I didn't do it to have a favour returned. I am a shawlier that only has a few holes and smells of cabbage. You can wear it. Not necessary. What a handsome man that was. Oh, and so kind and generous. That is but not a man. That is Prince Topher, the slayer of giants and dragons. He has just returned to us from university. He is to be crowned king. That man, a world leader, but he appears to have 
A heart, a mind and soul of a cow be Marie, you're crazy. <laughs> yes, I am. But that does not change the fact that he is our own Prince Topher, and he has returned to be our ruler. Look at your coin, dear. Why, it is him. Oh, and from the left, such silly ears, and the crown doesn't help things he should wear a, a floppy hat. <laughs> Marie, please take this coin and buy yourself something warm to eat. Why is it always the very poorest who are the most generous? It breaks my heart. He is our Jean-Michel. He will spout gibberish now and bore us. Be nice. Good day, Jean-Michel. And do you know why the poor are the kindest? Ella and crazy Marie. No, but I have a feeling you are about to be most Forthcoming. Because it is a corrupt system with a smashed moral compass. You will forgive me if I just sit about and mutter. Today, I will be going alone to protest the corruption that riddles our government. You must come with me. Cinderella? That is Madame and her stepmother. I shall shout to the prince, and he will have no choice but to listen. Cinderella? You are in arms. I have a vision for what this kingdom could be. Cinderella, help me with my parcels this instant. Cinderella, lazy stepdaughter, help me with my packages. Careful, careful. Oh, no one knows the extreme torture I am subjected to. Torture. I'm ignoring that. Charlotte, Gabrielle, come, daughters, come. We are here, Mama. We are exhausted being as beautiful as we look. Cinderella, idle girl, help your stepsisters with their shrewd purchases. Into the house, daughters. The real ones. Madame isn't always terrible. Sometimes she sleeps. <laughs> Gabrielle! I have brought from university a book for you with pictures of how people in other lands live and how they govern. Norway, Italy, Japan. I have mentioned my interest in these places only in passing. And you have brought a whole book with you. And four days from now, I would like to take you on a date. I'm organizing a soup kitchen. We need someone to stir and ladle. <laughs> Do not talk to that man. We are teetering precariously between upper middle class and lower upper class. We cannot be seen talking with a, a revolutionary. Into the house this instant. Why do I care? Why do I try? I'll never be good enough for her. I shall take this book and burn it. Why not give the book to dear Ella? It's quite all right, Jean-Michel. I would love to look at your book and how other countries live. Then here, Ella, take it. I shall go my way alone. Live my own life. I'm a loner. You're coming with me, right? Of course. Good. A book. It's been so long since I owned something. Just me. Cinderella, get in there and clean the kitchen. I've just finished it. Then prepare the dinner. It's on the stove. Then the beds must... The beds are turned down and your bed clothing. Oh, it's all laid out. Where? Where did you get that book? Oh, well, Jean-Michel just gave it's it to so me. It's so nice that people just give you gifts. Still Dutty's little girl. And what's this doing here? That's my father's coat. It's right. It's all I have to remember. It's rags now. Clean the porch with those rags. I'm as mild and as meek as a mouse. When I hear a command, I obey. But I know of a spot in my house where no one can stand in my way in my own little corner in my own little chair i can be whatever i want to be on the wing of my fancy i can fly anywhere and the world will open 
in its arms to me. I'm a young Norwegian princess or milkmaid. I'm the greatest prima donna in my land. I'm an heiress who has always had her silk made by her own flock of silkworms in Japan. Just as long as I stay in my own little corner All alone All alone In my own In my own little chair Your Majesty, Your Majesty A list of the Lord's entreating me a list of the lords entreating me with what? A hundred and five requests that seems a lot. I'll take this. Your Majestic Highness, in honor of your upcoming coronation, we proudly proclaim your kingdom a land of plenty and bounty. May I have the imprimatur of your ring on this other announcement? Oh, right, sorry, um, what's it for? It's complicated. Do you really want me to get into it? Prince Topher, listen! What was that? You must take responsibility for your actions. Who's that yelling from the other side of the moat? The people are being treated unfairly by your government. He seems upset. Rabble rouser. Ignore him. I have a new law which forbids any. Actually, if you, if you let me have the ring, it would save the trip. Shouldn't we listen to what he has to say? I mean, people were never upset with mom and dad, were they? Your parents had the good fortune of being royalty in a time of plenty. But since their unfortunate demise, I have done my best to run this country. I've done my best to raise you in the finest of schools. Hello, I'm talking here. We should invite him up for a talk. Ignore him. I will not give up. If, if you won't listen, I'll shout this to the town square. Shout this to the town square? Perhaps it's time for a distraction. What kind of distraction? A royal wedding. Wow, and does that work? Like a dream every time. But who would get married? Well, you. That's just silly. I don't know any girls. I went to an all-boys school off in the middle of the woods and then attended an all-male university on an island. 
Why did you do that to me? For this happy day, I will find you a bride. Oh, happy the day. This is nonsense. How will you find me a bride? We shall have a magnificent ball. Dancing. What? Every eligible young woman who can afford a gown will attend. That is a wonderful selection process right there. If you cannot afford a nice dress, you have no business marrying a prince. Now, all the guests shall be in masks. You will dance with every girl, and at the stroke of midnight, everyone will remove their masks, and you will have found your bride. That's fast. King and queen on the throne, I am there to guide you through all of your decisions. It's really a win-win. How would any woman fall in love with me so quickly? A valid question, which we will answer sometime soon. Now, Lord Pinkleton, I want you to tell this to all. A pronouncement. An announcement! His Royal Highness Christopher Rupert. Please don't say my full name. Vladimir, Carl Alexander, so Francois Reginald, Lancelot, Herman. Herman? Herman. Gregory James is giving a ball. Sebastian Johnson, can we talk about this, please? Now is the time, the time to act. No other time will do. Live and play your part, don't give away your heart, don't take what the world gives you. Now is the time, the time to live. No other time is real. Yesterday is gone, tomorrow is a guess. Today you can see. And feel. No, 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 listen, trace people, tinkers and fishmongers. I shout to the prince, but he ignores me. So if he and Sebastian can take land from the very poor, well, it's only a matter of time before they take from us. For you just can't wait to be served by fate on a silver plate or a tray. Now is the time, the time of your life, the time of your life is the prince is giving a ball, the prince is giving a ball. Piggy, piggy, a ball, and that's a ball. The prince is giving a ball, the prince is giving a ball. Piggy, piggy, his royal highness Christopher Rupert James is giving a ball. He's giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. Christopher Rupert, Windermere, Vladimir, Carl Alexander, Francois Reginald, Lancelot Herman, 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 Gregory James is giving a ball. The prince is giving a what? The, the prince is giving a ball. The prince is giving a ball. His Majesty has this decree. To attend the ball, all one requires is an invitation and suitably fashionable attire. And the prince shall be choosing a woman from the ball to become his bride. That means anyone can be the queen. So will he want a taller girl? Or will he want a stronger girl? Or will he want a smaller girl? The prince is giving a ball. I wish I were a bolder girl. I wish I were a graceful girl. A lot of things I've never wished before. I, I wish, wish I had, I wish I could, I, I wish, wish I might, I wish I would, I, I wish, wish I were invited to the prince's royal palace.
Rupert. Christopher Rupert. Charlotte's corset. <laughs> I can taste my lunch. We must move on to Gabrielle's hair. It's beginning to look, I feel, like a Bavarian pretzel. Cinderella? Cinder... <laughs> oh, Cinderella! It really is the most amusing name. I crack myself up. She sits by the cinders of the fire, and her name is Ella. So I call her Cinder Ella. Oh, why don't I have any friends? Face it, Mama. You are well versed in the art of ridicule. Ooh, I do have a flair for it, don't I, actual daughter? Watch and learn. Cinderella, hurry! Get dressed, get ready for the ball. You're going to find a husband. Am I? Ridicule! Who caught it? <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's terrible. Who can that be at this hour? Everyone, clear out of here. I get rid of this imbecile. Cinderella, get that dress on Charlotte. What brand of idiot would... Why, Sebastian, what an unexpected delight. Madame, I have but a moment. I invite you to hang upon my every word. Invitation accepted. Tonight's ball shall be in masks. The prince will be wearing a blue mask. What color mask will your daughter Gabrielle be wearing? Why, pink. If the daughter is anything like the mother, I think that the blue mask and the pink mask should meet and fall in love. Are you implying what I'm inferring? Your daughter is all a part of my master plan. You are brilliant! And you are perceptive. I shall see you at the ball. Together we shall make this so. Come, daughters, come! Oh, Gabrielle, my Gabrielle, just look at you! You two shall not really look at Gabrielle! Cinderella? Fetch the red box from Venice, a piece of glass spun to perfection, more valuable than diamonds. Each of us shall wear the tiniest bit of hand-blown Venetian glass. Allow me to place this tiny bubble around the neck of my courageous Charlotte. Oh, come, daughter, come. So beautiful. Allow me to place this tiny bobble around the neck of my beautiful daughter, Gabrielle. Come, Gabrielle, come. Oh, just look at you too. Cinderella, fetch the perfume. Come, two daughters that count. Finish getting ready. 
Who can that be? Oh, it must be more good news. Good evening, madame. Gabrielle, please excuse me for interrupting your momentous evening, but for the ball tonight, I thought you might desire these wild flowers. I picked them myself. Thank you, Jean-Michel. <laughs> They're so beautiful. And for the mother of the most perfect girl in all God's creation, I've gathered these you myself. You are not welcome here. Get out of my house. Would you perhaps consider? Leave. Simple pleasures with you. do not include Mr. Soapbox. But he means well, and I think he likes me. Let me tell you about love, Miss Flowers in your hands and dreams in your head. I married your father for love. He died, and I cried. Then I married Cinderella's father for money. He died, and I got a house. 7.30, ball preparation, double time! Cinderella, my shoe! Charlotte, who are your sister's face? Don't oh, come see! Venetian glass! I'm hungry! Not in that dress! Cinderella, my cloak! Come in, madame! Expensive bracelet, necklace, hair, then the prince we shall ensnare. Then the prince we shall ensnare! Are we worthy? Yes, yes! To battle, the crown is ours to lose! Lovely daughters. Oh, this is the night everything changes. Off to the ball. Expensive bracelet, necklace, hair. Cinderella's not going anywhere. <laughs> One of the flowers in the bouquet was a wild rose. Its thorn scratched my lip. Yes, I'm bleeding. I should go to the prince and scratch his lip. Oh, now? Make him drink lemonade. Oh, it will sting. That's just cruel. Well, enough of taking things as they are. Well, now is the time for us to march to the palace steps. The peasants, the tradespeople, and finally get the prince to listen to us. Instead of having this, this fancy ball. You should do that. You should march up to him and talk to him. He won't listen to me. He uses his castle to, to hide from the truth. Him meeting me will never happen. The only thing funnier is, well, you going to the ball. <laughs> Why don't you just go to the ball and ask him when he's going to start noticing? Noticing the people are being evicted from their lands? Ha! That's absurd. Ha ha! Jean-Michel, I could go to the prince and talk to him. And, well, if I had a gown, I think I might look sort of nice. <laughs> I am in the royal palace of all places When I meet the finest prince you've ever seen And the color on my two stepsisters' faces Is a queer sort of sour apple green I am coy and flirtatious when alone with the prince Tell him what life in this kingdom is really like. 
Oh, when what it could be exactly. And then to have him fall in love with you. No one will ever fall in love with me. Why do you come visit me tonight? I just knew I would find you in that same little chair. In the pale pink mist of a foolish dream. I am being foolish. Then be foolish with me. What would you dream of? Oh, a invitation to the ball, I guess. <laughs> right here. There's an invitation. What? But it's torn. Don't wait for everything to be perfect. Just go. Now, what else would you dream of? Oh, a royal gown, I'd imagine. A beautiful gown sewn up with, with pearls and jewels and a tiara of diamonds. <laughs> and on your feet. Why, the most beautiful grow great pumps, I'd imagine. No, better the Venetian glass that your stepmother so loves in her trinkets and bubbles. An entire pair of shoes made only of Venetian glass. <laughs> oh, how silly. I'd be the envy of all. But how would I get to the ball? That pumpkin over there. Yes. I'll turn it into a sparkling carriage. Whoosh. <laughs> and horses. Those mice trapped in that cage. And a fox as a footman and, and a raccoon as a driver. <laughs> you are crazy, Marie. Why, in order to do that, you would have to be a the fairy godmother. have crazy women in them. <laughs> Are you really my fairy godmother? But of course, my child. Actually, I'm everyone's fairy godmother. But you're the only one who's given me charity, generosity, and kindness. And now, I must make all the dreams we joked about come true. But that's so improbable, implausible. For a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden carriage, impossible. For a plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage, and four white mice will never be four white horses. Such fall they're all in a fiddle dee dee of courses. Sensible people say, and because these daft and dewy-eyed dopes keep building up impossible hopes, impossible things are happening every day. Impossible, 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 impossible. impossible. not five minutes ago, and now you are my fairy godmother. <laughs> then anything is possible, right? I suppose so. Then you could change it all. You could make it all happen. No, but you could change it all. You could make it all happen. Oh, never. I couldn't. You're right. It's all so impossible for a plain yellow pumpkin to become a golden cabbage. Impossible for a plain country bumpkin and a prince to join in marriage. And four white mice will never be four white horses. Such fall they're all in a full day day of courses. Impossible. But the world is full of zanies and fools who don't believe
Stella, I must tell you, all of this magic is very powerful, but it will end at midnight tonight. Now go to the ball in the name of every girl who has ever wished to go to a ball in a beautiful dress, in the name of every girl who has ever wanted to change the world she lived in, go with the promise of possibility. It's possible, it's possible. Only 200 more women to go! Good time, perhaps? Wrong answer. I've got marrying royalty on my mind. So which one is it? Well, maybe it's me. Not likely. You're no prince. You're ordinary. What makes you think I'm ordinary? We're doing a gavotte and you can't even keep the beat. When we get to the waltz, you're going to trip over your two left feet and land on your flat little bottom. End of discussion. Hope to talk to you later. I've moved on. <laughs> hey! Oh! My God! I am so sorry. sorry. How do you do? How do you do? A lovely dance, isn't it? Hope my dancing's all right. Oh, your dancing is absolutely princely! Oops! <laughs> I let that slip out. So you know. I would know a wise and handsome prince anywhere. The last girl did not know. You're kidding. Thanks for the heads up. 
I think she does now. Well? So? What can you tell me about yourself? What would it please you to know, your highness? Well, uh, what are your interests? Why, whatever your interests are, your highness. Okay, creepy. Your majestic highness, just because I was playing hard to get, doesn't mean I am hard to get. Okay, really creepy, Sebastian, I can't do this anymore. It's the prince! Oh, oh it just... It's time to play ridicule. Everyone, take sides. What happened to the nice girl? Ignore her. We're playing ridicule. You get to be the judge. Two circles spin, and when the music stops, two players out ridicule one another. Let's find you a bride. Bum diddy bum 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 diddy bum bum. One and two and three. Oh, but dear, I just love that dress no matter how many times I see it. <laughs> I remember when that dress was first in fashion, when I was a young girl. <laughs> Please do not speak of your childhood, for I have not brought along a copy of the Old Testament to follow along. Uh, what do you even call that? Well, it was awfully sophisticated. It just seems like cruelty. Sophisticated cruelty. There's a slight difference there. I keep on forgetting what it is. I'm not quite sure I want to play this game. And yet, you have another round at the ready. Bum diddy bum 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 diddy bum bum. One and two and three. Age before beauty. You first, dear. You have a lovely speaking voice. Have you ever considered reciting poetry? What? Say it. W do it. The anticipation is killing me. Do the ridicule. Why do you say that? No reason. I just really like your speaking voice. And I think you would sound really wonderful reciting a poem. And I also like that feather in your hair. It's a lovely color for you. Why are you doing this to me? What is this bewitchery that you practice? It's just kindness. Kindness? Oh yes, kindness is practiced in all the great courts. Ridicule isn't done anywhere anymore. It's just kindness now, even in the French courts. Kindness? Yes, you know, compassion. Who are you, you strange woman? I don't know who she is, but she is very, very wealthy indeed. And did you see her feet? Shoes made of hand-blown Venetian glass. Oh, my resentment is all-consuming! Kindness, you must all try it. I'll be the first. Kindness, isn't it wonderful to have a pleasant young lady such as yourself at our court? Thank you. And it's an honor to be at this wonderful party you are throwing. It's as if every time they speak, a part of me the loveliest woman I've ever seen. I saw that they had vanilla cake on the buffet. I love vanilla cake. Thank you to whoever made it. Sorry. This court is alive with laughter and warmth. Oh, it's like it was during the reign of Prince Tofa's parents. May his reign be a continuation of theirs. Those were glorious days. But so are these. <laughs> Look at all these magnificent guests. <laughs> you are so kind! Thank you! <laughs> you make me wish I were a better person! There's something somewhat familiar about you. What could that be? 
I admire how you've changed everything around, and yet I feel so comfortable with you. I feel as if I've met you before. Ten minutes ago, I saw you. I looked up when you came through the door. My head started reeling. You gave me the feeling the room had no ceiling or floor. Ten minutes ago, I met you, and we murmured our how do. I wanted to ring out the bells and fling out my arms and to sing out the news. I have found her, she's an angel with the dust of the stars in her eyes. We are dancing, we are flying, and she's taking me back to the skies. In the arms of my love, I'm flying over mountain and meadow and glen. And I like it so well that for all I can tell, I may never come down again. I'm so sorry to be so effusive. I have just met you. I'm not usually this way with someone I've just met. Events like this, I just feel like, what am I doing here? I feel the same! Like such a phony! So do I! You do? Yes! Me too, my name is... Telfer, short for Christopher. Yes, I know. Have we met before? Yes, and we are seeing each other for the first time right now. Ten minutes ago I met you And we murmured our how do you do? I wanted to ring out the bells and fling out my arms and to sing out the news. I have found him, I have found him. I like it so well that for all I can tell, I may never come down again. I may never come down to earth again.
just found you. I don't want to go, but I must. Don't go. Prince Topher, there's something I must tell you. You need to open your eyes to what's happening in your kingdom. The poor are having their land taken away. You must help them. You must. I don't think that's kind. How could you call that kindness? This is so wonderful. You are so wonderful, but I really do have to go. Wait, young lady. Your highness. Your highness. Charlotte. Gabriel.
Are you having as much fun as I am? The lady, we must find her. She left in a magnificent carriage. After her! But on, we shall take your carriage! We haven't the room! Leave one of your daughters behind then! After her, she is my destiny! Wait! Wait, stop! Stop! What just happened? Seriously, what just happened? Seriously! <laughs> Can't a fellow want a girl like her? A frail and fluffy beauty. Why can't a fellow ever once prefer a solid girl like me? She's a frothy little bubble with the flimsy kind of charm. And with very little trouble, I can break her little arm. Oh, why would a fellow want a girl like her? So obviously unusual. Why can't a fellow ever once prefer a usual girl like me? Her cheeks are a pretty shade of pink. But not any pinker than a rose's. Her skin may be delicate and soft. But not any softer than a dozer's. Her neck is no wider than a swan's. She's only as dainty as a daisy. She's only as graceful as a bird. So why is the fellow going crazy? Oh, why would a fellow want a girl like her? A girl who's merely lovely. Why can't a fellow ever once prefer a girl who's merely mean? What's the matter with the men? What's the matter with the men? What's the matter with the men? Footwear is falling from the sky. It's gone. The magnificent carriage has taken a shortcut right through the forest. Gentlemen, lanterns, we must find if it's the last thing we do. She is my lady. Yes, he's witty. So disarming. Plus, I really like the way he holds a room. Clever, cunning, ever charming. How do I make him see I'm special? Aww. It's a pity. It's a pity. I'm as pretty. I'm as pretty. Plus I've got the patience of a perfect saint. So I'm waiting. Always waiting. Nevertheless, I am a mess. Loosen my dress. Help me, I'm starting to. Cheeks are a pretty shade of pink. What's the matter with but the not any pinker than a rose is. Her skin may be delicate and soft. What's the matter but I'm not any softer than a dose is. Her neck is no wider than a swan's. She's only as dainty as a daisy. She's only as graceful as a bird. So why is the fellow going crazy?
Eagleton, where is she? There are reports along the Eastern Road of a magnificent carriage. Ten minutes ago, I held her. Your Majesty, we saw the carriage. And this I cannot explain. It simply disappeared into the mist. Impossible, I know. Impossible? Then we shall do the impossible. Is it? Ten minutes ago, we were dancing in the palace of all places. And at last it seemed that all the world was right. How the moonlight shone its beams upon our faces, till she vanished like a phantom I just know I will find you You're the girl of my dreams And the thrill is more than my heart can bear Look! The carriage! That's it! That's the one!
Harry Slim in his coat of royal blue. When he walked across the ballroom floor, he was like a thing divine. And all the ladies turned their heads, and naturally I turned mine. The chandeliers were shooting stars, the drums and horns and soft guitars were sounding more like nightingales. The window curtains blew like sails, and I was floating just above the floor, feeling slightly taller. I was quite convinced my daughter was going to be queen, and I would never have to come back here to this. And well, now I'm back here to this. Was the ball a disappointment, madame? The prince, despite his being well born and raised with great care by our lord protector, showed the most appalling manners. Appalling! He spent the entire evening talking and dancing with some little Nobody! How did Gabrielle and Charlotte take that? <gasps> the prince has fallen head over heels for someone else. If he keeps this up, I may not want to go out with him. <laughs> what was going on in His Royal Highness's thick skull? The way he looked at her with respect. I hope no man ever looks at me that way. If that woman had any morality or sense of what's right in this world, she wouldn't have appeared at the ball at all. But can you imagine how she must have felt tonight, arriving at the ball and meeting the man of her dreams? Ugh, I cannot, for my mind has no place for the puerile wreck. Well, I can imagine it, I think. I can imagine it. I can imagine it, and I have no imagination. When you're driving through the moonlight on the highway, when you're driving through the moonlight to the dance, you are breathless with the wild anticipation of adventure and excitement and romance. Then at last you see the towers of the palace silhouetted on the sky above the park. And below them is a row of lighted windows like a lovely diamond necklace in the dark. It looks that way, where you say she talks as if she knows. I do not know these things are so. I own just suppose, I suppose that when you come into the ballroom and the room itself is floating in the air, if you're suddenly confronted by his highness, you are frozen like a statue on the stair. You're afraid he'll hear the way your heart is beating and you know you mustn't make the first advance. You are seriously thinking
It's me imagining it. <laughs> I am throwing caution to the wind. I am imagining it as well. And I can imagine what that girl would be feeling while dancing with the prince. A lovely night, a lovely night, a finer night you know you'll never see. You meet your prince, a charming prince, a charming Dream of this lovely, lovely night. Oh, Charlotte, play the piano for Oh, yes, Charlotte, please do. Okay, but it's not going to be good. <laughs> Stay here and clean up this pigsty of a parlor. Why is there a pumpkin on the table? It makes no design sense. Is there anything else you would like to know, Ella? No, it sounds like a really marvelous ball. I only wish I could have been there. How did you know all that happened at the ball earlier this evening? I just supposed it, <laughs> imagined it, had a vision. Interesting. Quick, how many fingers? Two, three. Fascinating. Where are your visions now? Oh, you're being silly. You're just picking on me because I said the prince was wearing a blue jacket and- You didn't say it. And he was. Something is going on here. Oh, you're being absurd. More than usual. I need to finish off and- Let me help you with that. Your hand is so calloused and rough from work. Just like the hand of the one I shook this evening who danced with the prince. I don't know what you're... It was you tonight, wasn't it? <gasps> it was you! How did you dance in glass shoes? You were 
won't tell the others, will you, Madame and Charlotte? No! Never! Are you mad that I stole the prince from you? I will confess a secret to you! I never loved the prince, or even liked him. <laughs> There's someone else that I want! How wonderful for you! Well, who is it? Well, Madame hates him. Madame hating someone doesn't really narrow the field. If I promise to keep your secret of the prince, can you promise to keep my secret of my forbidden love? I can and I will. It's Jean-Michel, the firebrand. Oh, he is a good man and seems angry for all the right reasons. He wants to change the world and make it a better place. You gotta love a guy like that. You may one day win Jean-Michel, but I will never win Prince Topher. If he saw who I truly was, he would have no interest in me. But that's not true. He would love you for who you are. I don't see how. Well, if Madame ever saw me with Jean-Michel, why I shudder to think of what she might do. Are you sure you can keep my secret? I can, and you can keep mine. Oh, and we shall have a secret. That will make us co-conspirators, friends, sisters. <laughs> May we both fight our loves and our lives. The stars in a hazy heaven trembling above me danced when he promised all the ways to love me. The day came through away. I flew, but on my he left a kiss All my life I'll dream of his Lovely, lovely, lovely night of sunrise when the deep purple heaven turns blue and start to pray as I pray each day that I'll hear some word from you I love of evening looking out on a silver flake sea and ask the moon oh how soon how soon will my love come home to me I have found Sire, three nights in a row you search, and here it is, four o'clock in the morning. 
It's as if you are simply testing my good nature. The second that woman in blue ran off, which we all must admit seems to imply she's a criminal record, the second she ran off, you don't want to dance with any of the other girls. Sebastian, are there poor people in this kingdom who have had their land taken from them? If there were, I would tell you. Do they need our help? Everyone don't need to joyfully ignore this talk. Where did you hear it? The girl. I don't know that she is to be trusted. Please, come back to the castle. The work is piling up. No, something isn't right. As you say. The ring, sire? Oh, right, sorry. Um, what are you stamping this time? Nothing, sire. Hardly worth troubling your beautiful mind. Let me read it. I should explain before. I'll read this on my own. Your future majesty, let's I mean this back now, to... thank you. But that will be all, Sebastian. I'll ask you if I need anything explained. Oh no, Sebastian! Sire, I can explain! How did you do this in my name? I am maintaining this life for you. Without my watchful eye, you'd be nothing but a pauper. You wouldn't want that. I want that girl, the one who talked to me. I want to talk to that girl. A troublemaker. We're having another ball, a banquet, and she'll come to that. She won't show. This is lunacy. She will come. We're having a banquet tonight, and you are inviting everyone in the kingdom. Don't you forget who you're talking to. And don't you forget who you're talking to. Now, we're having a banquet tonight, and I'm finding that girl. Very well, sire. She won't come. You don't even know her name. And if she really thought you were worthy of all her high ideals, she would have stayed, wouldn't she? A banquet! The prince is looking dreamy-eyed. He has since given the ball. And still he wants to find his bride, the one that he lost at the ball. So spread the word throughout the land, the prince is throwing a banquet! It is his wish that the woman from the ball will attend. As for the rest of us, well, what can I say? There's going to be a ham! Talk it back to me! And of course, I want to keep a close eye on what women are going to be there. I'm not giving up control this time. Spread the word! <laughs> His Royal Highness Christopher Rupert James is giving a banquet tonight! Invitation only! A banquet tonight? Cinderella, where are you? Cinderella, where can you be? Christopher Rupert, dopey and dreamy-eyed, can't find his lady, hoping to see her, asking where is she? Uh, where is she? Gregory James is here. A banquet? Oh, why does the prince do this? It seems cruelty beyond measure. Two significant social events in one week? Now, granted, I have never looked better, but my physical perfection, it comes at a price. Gloves, that's what it was. Cinderella, where are my gloves? Ella, over here, don't tell her you have the gloves quite yet. Yes, I know she'll be abusive later, but trust me, this shall be worth it. I am going to tell Madame that I am sick. Oh, would you like some? Oh, I'm not really sick. I'm pretending. <laughs> it's just like when Charlotte was in school and pretended to be sick to get out of the things she didn't like. Like the third and fourth grade. <laughs> I will be sick just as we are leaving for the carriage. Madame and Charlotte will leave without me. I will then change back into my regular clothes and meet my secret crush, Jean-Michel. I'm taking him up on his offer to go help in a soup kitchen. A soup kitchen? I get to ladle. <laughs> you heard me. And guess what will happen to this beautiful dress and invitation? I shall loan them both to you. And you shall go in my stead. And meet the prince and fall in love and get married and exact revenge on Madame and try to keep Jamish the heart of the stockade. Tra-la, tra -la, the way my mind works! <laughs> Cinderella, I can't find my gloves! And don't worry about Madame. She never notices anything that isn't her. Your gloves are right here, Madame! 
Why didn't you tell me you had the gloves? You foolish child. Charlotte, make haste, child. And those shoes are delicate and dainty. My feet burn with the heat of a hundred suns. To the carriage, daughters. Madame, my stomach. I must have eaten something this morning that disagrees with me. No, 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 no. This cannot prevent me from going to the banquet tonight. You, you go without me. Let Charlotte meet the prince and steal it from the homely girl from the ball. Go, let Charlotte become queen. Oh, I think I could make that work. <laughs> I shall do this battle with only half my troops. Cinderella, fetch the physician. If Gabrielle gets better, send her to the castle immediately. Gabrielle, get better. I insist, keep your invitation. Thank you, mother. I'll come if I fall. I'm not on the dress! Come, Charlotte, the carriage awaits. And you, you knock on the door. Knock on the door. I'm sick of hiding in the shadows like a fearful person. Would you rather see Madame? Hiding is nice. <laughs> How are you this evening? I'm going out with Gabrielle and I'm wound up like a tick. Tonight, she and I will go to the green grocer and beg him for whatever scraps we might have. Then, we shall slave over a hot stove and serve a meal to the very poorest. I do not hope she's expecting this much fun, well, every night. Good evening, Jean-Michel. Good evening, Gabrielle. I prefer you in this simple attire. You no longer look like uh, a carnival attraction. You speak such kind words to me all day long. And what of the soup kitchen this evening? Our first responsibility is with the poor. Then we shall march to the palace steps and I shall speak to the prince. You only have one thing to worry about. What's that? That he'll even speak to me. Well, Ella might be a help, you know. She's talked to the prince. What? Ella's talked to the prince? She went to the ball. They were talking about the kingdom and how to make things better. And tonight, she is going to the banquet. The world is upside down. But, but you know what this means. If, if she really talked to the prince, then, then I can talk to him. And he'll be open to my suggestions. What do you call this feeling that I have? Optimism. Optimism. I have to do this more often. You can march up to the prince and talk to I him. I can march up to the prince and talk to him. You can be a leader. I can be a leader. You can be my boyfriend. I can be your boyfriend. Whoa. Left turn. What are you doing? This looks very counter-revolutionary. I like the man who wants to change the world. But I also like the man who bought me flowers. Who bought you flowers? Oh, I did. <laughs> no, I couldn't. You just said so. Optimism. Optimism. Let yourself go. I, I could be your boyfriend. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ever your boyfriend? Yes. Yes. So that's how it is. Mama! My own daughter. My flesh and blood deceiving me with someone so decidedly unsuitable. I had plans for you, Gabrielle. I've created a life for you, and this is how you decide to show your gratitude. All dressed up and ready for court, how do I look? And you? Do you think you could go to court? I never loved your father. I just wanted his money. You have been nothing but a nuisance to me since the day he died. Sorry, you sorry. think you can wear a beautiful ball gown. You think that oh, is acceptable. Sorry. You should be in rags, worn out rags. That's all you deserve. Mother! I am no you longer stop. your mother. You, Gabrielle, get out of my house. You are no longer welcome here. To the devil with you! <laughs> I'll descend.
decide what to do with you later. Why did you have to make me doubt myself? Oh, I was doing so well. Try to find you. Every time I take a step forward, Madame just pushes me back. If the prince saw me for who I truly am, he never want me. I can't keep, keep fighting. If you have a dream, then very soon thereafter you're going to have to fight for it. Why? Otherwise, how would you know the dream is yours? But my life, exactly. It is your life. Beyond the voice that keeps insisting, no. There is something more than doubting. Breaking through the darkness, something that
still an auction. Your Majestic Highness, I believe all the guests have arrived. It's time for the banquet. I'm waiting for her. She has to come. Very well, sire, but be warned. This party is a pack of gossips. I'd hurry it along if I were you. Prince Taufa! You're here! I'm sorry, I'm late. I knew I'm if so I had a banquet, you would come. And I'm sorry, And you're I'm even late. more beautiful than I remembered. Did you really have this banquet just for me? I would have a hundred banquets to find you. And the thing about me being more beautiful than before, that's real too? Yes, yes, of course. Wow, what do you know about that? <laughs> I've been thinking about you, and I've been thinking about what you were saying about the poor having their homes taken away. The court tells me I should ignore such talk, but I think... But, you know, if you're going to be king, you have to pay attention to things that people tell you to ignore. Yes, yes, I want to meet all of my people, not only the ones Sebastian lets me see. I just, I don't know how. It's impossible. Oh, that's going to be more possible than you can even imagine. My friend, Jean-Michel, and my sister, Gabrielle, are headed here right now with some of your people to talk to you. To talk to me, but if things are as bad as you say they are, then they'll just be angry with me. I think if you can do battle with, with a giant or a dragon, you can handle a person who just wants to talk to you. Okay, you're good. <laughs> just be yourself. They'll see the man that I see. Oh, they're coming! Wait, what is your name? Just trust me, because I am your one true friend. Friends, call me Prince Tofa. Just don't say my name. <laughs> I won't say your name. I won't even mention the gold dress. Uh, are you all right? Yes, yes. Jean-Michel is a wonderful man with a lot of great ideas. I... No, no, no. It's nice to meet you. Oh, and my sister, Gabrielle. Okay. <laughs> and this is Yvonne and her baby. I uh, see the resemblance. <laughs> and this is Sam. It's an honor to meet you, sir. It's an honor to meet you. This prince is all right. Okay, I'm holding a baby. <laughs> and you can talk to him like he's a person. I mean, it really is so nice. Thank you so much for coming. Prince Topher, Jean-Michel has something he'd like to say to you. I, uh, uh, we, uh, these people have had their homes and properties taken from them. I've said this before, but I know what it's like to have someone you love lose their home. We need your help. We need to have our voices heard. For you just can't wait to be served by fate on a silver plate or a tray. Now is the time, the time of your life, the time of your life is today. Yes, I see, and trust me, I too know what it's like to be overlooked. I want to help you, but how? Older all and fiddle dee dee, fiddle dee faddle dee fumble. Will the dreams in all the world go oops? And out they tumble. Of course it's here. What's here? Do you know it? I've read it at university. <gasps> Look, chapter two. Of course, chapter two. I chapter known. two? I didn't get that far. Yes, yes, chapter two. People, I think I have a plan. I knew you would. Long live Prince Topher. Our future king. Yeah! yeah. For what are you doing surrounded by these ragamuffins? Sebastian, you said no one needed my help. What do you call these people? From their attire, I would assume artists. We demand to have our voices heard. Yeah! yeah! Our beheading would not be out of place here. Yes, yes, all the people must be heard. That's a very good idea. What is going on here? Now there is a way for all to be seen and heard. It's in this book. In one month, let's all vote for a new job I shall create. The post of... Uh, Prime Minister! Someone who will counsel me. I nominate our current Lord and Protector, Sebastian. I am unworthy, sire. And I also nominate this man, Jean-Michel. What? what? Let the people decide the way things are or the way things could be. And everyone, rich or poor, only gets one vote. One person, one vote? Where's the fun in that? People, in one month I give you an election. Yeah! yeah! What a guy, what a guy! He's a plain and simple, complicated, fascinating! And now everyone, rich or poor, into the castle for a free banquet! <laughs> of course, of course, hope you enjoy it. Oh, thank you. Absolutely.
You did it. I did do it. And I think I know who I am now. You're smiling. I've seen you smile before, but never like that. I know the king that I can be. Just, fair, kind-hearted. I found myself and you showed me the way. You seem so sure of yourself. Sure of everything. I feel like I can answer any question that gets thrown at me. You can. With you, I can. There's only one question I don't have an answer for. Do I love you because you're beautiful? Or are you beautiful because I love you? Am I making believe I see in you a girl too lovely to you because you're wonderful or are you wonderful because I love you are you the sweet invention of a lover's dream or are you really as beautiful as you Am I making believe I see in you a man too perfect to change the world, you and I. To the banquet! To the banquet! Wait, what time is it? Only midnight, why? Midnight? I have to go! Again? Why? I, I must go! How can you leave me? Why do you leave me? If you knew who I really was, you'd never want me! Don't leave me! I don't want you, but I have to! Wait, God, stop! Someone stop her! It's the biggest news cycle I've ever shouted. Ooh. I'll be back at 11 with local weather and sports. <laughs> the prince intends to search until he finds the girl who fits the bill. Well, not the bill, the shoe, I mean, a shoe to fit a queen. The shoe does not fit. The shoe does not fit. 
does not fit. We're going to find that girl. If the shoe was made of glass, it could only fit one person. I mean, that's why she left it, right? It doesn't look good. How goes it? So far, no luck. Now, when you try on the slipper, make sure to make eye contact with his highness. For our family, you shall try on the shoe first. Don't you mean only? No one's seen Cinderella since you yelled at her two nights ago. You got rid of Gabrielle because she likes the guy who might be our new prime minister. Wow. Great call there. I don't know what's going on in this world. Everything that I thought was holy and true is trash. That which meant nothing now appears to mean everything. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Me again. Hey. Gabrielle. <laughs> there you are. I've just decided, if I become Prime Minister, I'm going to marry you. Wow! The stakes are really piling up! It, it does not fit. Of course it doesn't fit. I'm not the girl the Prince has fallen in love with. None of us are that girl. Is that the last eligible lady in the kingdom? She appears to be, yes. She can't be. I told you this girl wouldn't come. Can we end this charade? Has everyone truly tried on the glass slipper? I haven't tried on the slipper. Everything has led you to this moment. Now you have something to believe in yourself. All the dreamers in the world are dizzy. In a noodle. Ugh, by all means, make yourself ridiculous. Try on the slipper. It's too, too rich. You can do it. That's my sister! Have we met before? Yes, and we are seeing each other for the first time right now. <laughs> Of me, you who showed me my own kingdom and offered me water that day I was thirsty. Please, please, don't run away again. I don't think I could bear it. It was you. We both know how horribly I've treated you since your father's death. I know it is beyond reason to expect some of your famous kindness. I am unworthy. Madame, you have treated me very poorly indeed. And I now say to you the three kindest words I know. I forgive you. Thank you! Oh, thank you! Do you think that includes me? For you, it probably involves several hours of community service. <laughs> you are amazing. Do you think I could maybe learn your name now? It's Cinderella. Cinderella. It's beautiful. I named to that. It's a name I once hated, but starting today, I'll keep. That way, when anyone thinks that anything is impossible, they'll just say my name and know better. Cinderella, I love you so much, I don't know what to do. Oh, well, is marriage still on the table? Yes. Yes, oh my, yes, you have to marry me. I mean, will you marry me? <laughs> Cinderella. Will you marry me? Yes, my handsome prince, I will marry you. In the arms of my love, In the I'm flying arms of my love, over I'm mountain and meadow and glen, and, 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 and I like it so well, and I like it so well, that for all I can tell, I like it so well, and I like it so well.
to God.